Terry, can I ask a question? Yes. If we do get this contract, how long can we delay the actual doing of this thing? I mean, can we, do we have to do it within a certain period of time? Or Let's put it this way. They're going to expect it to be done within a year. Within a year? Yeah. All right, so we have a year. Yes. All right. But we have to show progress. We have to show progress. We have to show that we're going to do it. We can't talk we need anymore. We need an approved contract. We need an approved contract. <laughs> He, he, he was going off the plans that he had from before. There were plans, but they're not acceptable. So he has to go. We're work, we've been working with the guy. He's, he's guaranteeing that he can install this jacuzzi between. No, actually, the, the contract went down, just like Maureen explained. He, he gave us a rough estimate. He's an honest guy. He no, did the indoor. Nobody, nobody saw him. He did. He gave us a bid for thirty-four thousand and did it for fourteen thousand. The bid went down, based on the same work. You find somebody. Okay. We got we got our three. Too much. Too much. We we got our what we did when we had them out here, we explained to him that we may need a new filtration system. We need new decking. And we need a jacuzzi that's roughly the same size as the one in there. Be no, it's going to be brand new and concrete. We have to do soil samples, and we included in this price is a gentleman to do soil samples as well. No, the correct. We don't have the engineer drawings yet. well, that's why we have to do soils testing. I thought that was done back in January. Okay, Joe. Yeah, just a couple so questions now. What, no more than four years. what are you soil testing right. for? Perk? No, I don't understand the soil no, test part. I don't want to see if it's contaminated, yeah. different yeah. things. Right. They're, they're telling the, it, Joe. The whole thing back there is it, it has to be leveled, that's all. Right. If you're going to build it the same way. Right. But, well, let me just finish. Okay. It has to meet the elevation of the existing yeah. deck. Yeah. Yeah. The concrete has to be built up to that elevation. Uh, there, he, we, we explain how... I, I, well, you don't know. You don't even know where it's going. Where's it going? I don't know. I'll show you, so you don't know. You don't have to show me. Okay. Let me just ask my last question. Does it have to be built like it is now with a deck? Couldn't we get one that would sit on the paver somewhere? No. no. What we're going to do is we're going to extend it out from the pavers, out towards the lake. I'll show you where it's going, where he suggested that it goes. It's the way, a, it's a good I mean, if you wanted to save some money... The way the engineer described it, we have to have four foot, around, correct? Around, around, around the, the spa the, of decking. Four Havers. foot of decking around the spa. So therefore, we had to extend it out from the existing deck. We can't build it in. Actually, it would cost more money to bring it in because we'd have to uh, blow out the concrete. All we do is dig and pour and, and set it in place and put the pavers around it. It's um, easier to do it that way. Can we say that we approve the spa contract not to exceed forty-three thousand dollars? Can we say that? Actually, we have to say not to exceed forty-eight not because that's the yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, and if he can't keep within those restraints, we don't do it. Then we don't have a jacuzzi. Now, that's subject all. To drawing and Jerry, give the same thing. yeah, well, you're going to spend the money on the engineers. Well, how much do they cost? Like five thousand, ten thousand dollars? No. How much, engineer report how much was the last oh, engineer report? One thousand eight hundred. Uh, Eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Jerry. The soil test. <laughs> soil test is, I think, was four hundred dollars. Yes, Jerry. Yes. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't quite, I'm trying to wrap my head around the concept. Uh, we're having a brand new indoor no. spa. No. No, that's no. being rehabbed. That's done. I say, we're ha we have a brand new rehabbed or whatever you call it. It's been covered. It's not covered now? It's been uncovered? I, I haven't looked at it. No, the permits are just in place. Okay. It'd be about two weeks before he Fine. starts work. So we have a brand new indoor spa. Yeah, brand new indoor spa DVD, that can be used 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. I happen to be a spa user. When I'm here, I use it every day. Okay? But when we consider the big picture, and I hear the treasurer's report, 
Excuse me, do you mind taking it outside the room so I can think when I speak? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, we hear the treasurer's report, and I've happened to talk with Mark Richmond also back in, in uh, Maine. We have a potential, just for 2010, we've got an $85,000 bill for assessments on sold units by owners that was never paid to the assessment, right. to pay down the assessment. We may have a larger amount for 2007, 8, and 9 that hasn't been that has been collected and not paid. We're talking about big bucks. I, who use a spa every day that I'm here before, I, before and after I go swimming, I don't mind walking to the indoor spa to go in there and relax my bones before and after and then go swimming. I don't see the big deal in our economic straits, and this is from a user, I don't see the big deal in spending forty-three to ninety thousand dollars to put a spa out there. Uh, I'd not, rather it's not ninety thousand, it's forty three. No, no, I to heard 48. a quote. I understand. No. Forty three. I understand, to I understand, but there was a quote between forty three and ninety. Well, so not, someone someone in that well, but someone in that business feels there can be some downside that it can cost more. And, that's, and that's look, I'm not in that business, but I've done a lot of building in my time and quotes are only quotes. What the end I, I hate to interrupt you, Terry. My point is that with another spa within 50 feet of one another, I don't know what the rush is, even if it takes another permit, even if it takes another year or two years to get done, there is no point in okay. throwing I, I get your point, Terry. Thank you very much. So do I have a, I, I, I propose a motion to approve the contract not to exceed $48,000 for an outdoor pool to, uh, spa. Do I have a second? Okay. Do we have any uh, disagreement? Who did the second, please? Doug Myers. Do we have anybody in disagreement? Uh, I just want to bring up a, a point for the bank. If we make a decision to, and we wind up spending $48,000, and that's not complete, you need decking and there are things that go with it that, over that you couldn't anticipate, now you're in violation of the loan. No, it's not to exceed 48000 We're going you to get a complete do contract. That. Okay. And you don't Very have good. all the blueprint by which everybody will bid on the same identical job. Okay, we, we have the bids. No, no, hold it. Okay. You're not listening Take, to me, Terry. Okay. Do you have finished blueprints with all If, if the job exceeds 48000 we don't do it. Listen. That's all. I'm not, no. I ask you a Call the roll. Do you have... No. You don't? No. Therefore, you cannot bid on anything okay. until you get it. And Thank I you. Think, I think the board should scroll, cross it up. We're going to take a vote. Okay. Charles Fitzpatrick. Yes. Francis Mesereau. Michael Schaefer. Don Coco. Yes. Was I right? Ed Kaufman. Yes. Doug Myers. Yes. Jennifer Maloney. Yes. Doug Wolf. Yes. Yes. It's Majority vote. Seven to two. You know, it's uh, plans. Seven to two. And now let me ask you, what responsibility are you taking if we go over fifty thousand dollars? We don't do the job. That's all. We're not going to do it. No, it's forty-eight thousand. We don't do the job if it exceeds forty. Don't forget it has a bearing on the value of our property over all right. here as well. Sorry? Next agenda item. This this goes back to the old Mort Cater assessment that you all paid for before I moved in. You were assessed, you paid for this job, and it never got done. So Remember? The elevator cabin, the yeah. That's right. Right. What, what, who, who was on the board at that time that approved it, and then they spent the money and you never got it? It was approved by three or four different boards. Three or four different boards. Well, this board's going to approve it and do it. We're actually going to do it this time. All right. Anybody out there would like to contribute, you know, we'd like to know. And, and, and all of you people have paid three and four times for this that's never gotten done. It was assessed, paid three or four times, never, you will get the work done. Well, the original money was used for the over budget. Yeah, man, but, but you were charged for it. You paid well, for it. Well, it was part of the yeah. budget. Yeah. Well, we're going to do it this time. If we didn't do it, we didn't pay for it. That's right. The yeah, money was taken the money. out, approved. Where did the money go? Spent. 
It's money was I just told you. The money was okay, here we go. Well, the money was you still have, by the way, we still have forty eight thousand dollars. Explain the bids. It's okay. an escrow account. Explain the bids. It's in an escrow account. Okay. We have um, two elevator companies that do work on property. Uh, Ace Elevator and Elevator Service Repair and Modernization. They both gave me quotes. Ace Elevator, who does our monthly maintenance as well, proposes each cap to be $5,925. Elevator Service and Repair, uh, they're the ones that did our um, control system modifications and upgrades a couple months back. They're proposing $4,950 per cap. Um, we have a one-year warranty with elevator service and repair, and Ace Elevator doesn't state what our warranty is, so, um, but they are on property almost constantly doing what we need done for repairs. Any questions? I would like to say in regards to Ace Elevator Company, they state that they come out here all the time and remedy the situation. However, the very next day, every day at 7 o'clock in the morning, I get in the Bordeaux Building elevator, and I feel like I'm going to be trapped in there. There's still issues with it, and they claim that they've already repaired it. So I would definitely not hold them accountable for a future contract. They're not reliable. And they're more expensive. I'd get somebody else. So which one? Elevator services. Elevator services. Cheaper. Okay. And elevator service. It says elevator service and repair that one? Yes. And that's, and that's for how much? They're $4,950 per cab. We have three. The Edelweiss, the Marseille, and the St. Moritz. They're all the same amount. less per cab. Is it time out for giving in more bids on that? We have three bids. No, we have two bids. Oh, right. so, the two people that are authorized to work on our elevators. Okay. Do you need another one? You don't have time to finish what you want to say. Forty-nine fifty for each one. Yeah. You have to put down to at least five minutes. You don't live here. You don't live here. You got a bigger investment than you do. You don't live here, though. Mayor, I got here. investments. I got properties. Good. I'm I don't care for about them because I don't. I'm voting that. against it because we're going to face the bank soon, and you're going to look like an idiot. But you were on the board, and you didn't, didn't address the problem. Yeah, I didn't know that person. No, Four years. Sorry, I'm with the on the board one year. Make a oh. But what did you do about it? Make a motion. Terry, what are you doing? You didn't address the problem. Mike, well, you put some meters in there. It's forty grand. No, yeah. there's no good question. Yeah. We install them, we'll start saving money. 40, yeah. 40 meters. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Ye
and you're doing building by building. That's fraud. That's fraud. So if you want to challenge me, I'll sue you for fraud. <coughs> me? Come on. You're ready yeah. to put up $100,000 in a lawsuit. Why don't you oh. put that into the village? For guys like you, I won't do it. Oh, for guys like you, you straight out. I'll, I'll take you off. You resign, and I'll put the hundred thousand dollars to the village. What about the rest of the people? The people. The people. <laughs> you just got a deal. Yeah. Resign. Wait a second, yeah. Ilan. Maybe I'm speaking out of turn. Maybe you'll put up the money if they put up the money that they had the board tell them they didn't have to pay. Let's go on with the meeting and start okay. the side Do I have a second? I, I, I move to uh, approve the. Uh, Renovation, not exceed ten thousand dollars for the. Uh, Terry, uh, Terry, I, I recall when you uh, went to the Marseille. Uh, you said that when the Marseille job was done, you would have very meticulously. We do. All of the we cost. had that at the last what, meeting. What it was that, reduced. What did, what did it? What did it cost it. to do the Marseille? Here, I'll turn that over to Jennifer. I'm sorry, I was in the hospital. He was in the hospital. Jerry, Jerry, the, 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 I went over everything for the penny. What was the tight what was the total spent? That's one number I'm asking for. One number. Um, okay. We were approved for fifteen thousand dollars for the lobby right. and ten thousand dollars for all three corridors. Right. I went under for the lobby. And technically, I went fourteen dollars over for the hallways, yeah. but technically, we weren't supposed to put in the price for the new doorknobs because that wasn't considered a. So a you spent under twenty-five. What, what you're telling I, me? I, you yeah. spent under twenty-five, and you have an account. You have I an account for that. I offered this to uh, you have an to pay the fourteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I have the, the spreadsheets in the office with the right. backup. Just a question. Not right. Right. They're not the right numbers. Okay. Uh, do we have a second on the Sam Ritz hallways? Okay. Do we? I did. And Doug seconded it. Doug How was the St. Moritz determined that that was That's the next one? That's the Marseille, isn't it? No, he's talking about St. Moritz. The Marseille was done. The committee. There's a committee? Yes. And how was it determined that the that, 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 that was the most in need. That was in the worst disrepair. And how was that determined? By the committee. Who was on this committee? It was before I got on the board. So. Well, the last I remember of the how you were going to determine things was by a, a straw. But, but straw. that was stopped. Uh, if you look at the thing, I was stopped, and nobody wanted it to do it that way. You were stopped. Yes, I was stopped. I see. And and someone told you that they'd have to do it by a committee that made the decision on a on an ad hoc basis. Whoever wanted, whoever. Right. Well, who was that, on that committee? Huh? Who, who were the committee members? Who were the committee members? Jerry, we decided to do it by reverse alphabetization. <laughs> reverse <laughs> alphabetization? Well, that would put the Zurich, that would put the Zurich number one. She said she wasn't. Uh, listen, I'm not going to take the blame for something I didn't do, but right. what I will say, and I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus because right. that's not my style, right. is I'm just going to say that I know I had promised you a few board meetings back because I know you were very passionate about that and you didn't mention it. No, he's not concerned about it because he doesn't want to spend the money anyway. You did mention that someone so had promised that. doesn't really involve you. Can I, can I can only listen to one person at a time? Well, you can listen to me right now. Well, I should no, listen to you. You, you okay. don't want to do it, so why do you care? If it is being done, if it is, if it is being done over my objection, and I'm used to that, okay, because we still have some hard-headed people there that can't count from one and one. But I understand that. So if it's going to be done over my objection, common sense objection, then I want to know how it's done. When I spoke to you directly, you told me one way how it was done. When I spoke to George directly, he told me something else. And now when Jennifer got on the board, things have changed around. Okay, and all of a sudden, uh, there's I'll, been a I'll new I'll simplify order. it for you. Please I do, made, I need it very simple, I'm not the, very bright. I made the agenda and I listed the next three buildings. I you decided. made the agenda and you decided yes. against what you said that you how you were going to because decide. Because I was blocked before, so then I decided. Wait a second, you just got through said you decided. So if you make the decision, then you're not blocked if you're making the decision. Right, I'm making the decision. Right, so you aren't blocked, you just you changed your mind. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. okay. But I changed my mind. Well, I think that, that I, you are president. I agree with you. Okay. But at the same time, you're only one out of nine board members. Okay. And I don't know that you have that authority. I used to be in your seat, and I never took that authority. Well, you did when, okay. Then anyway. You never got reelected. 
Listen, the only reason I didn't get reelected and you got reelected is because Mr. Samuels fixed the ballots. Yeah. So don't be so proud about your election. Okay, don't be so proud. All right? Okay. He was elected, he was elected. He was elected he was with so tampered. No, no, he was oh, elected. Yes, he was elected. You got to speak up. You think those parents? He was elected when I ran. He beat me when I ran. Jerry. Three members oh, beat. Jerry. Yeah, right. Jerry. That's what Jerry. I'm talking about. Jerry. Don't worry I'd be about more than happy you to, were president. I'd be more than happy to continue without any interruptions. Okay. Um, I had originally created a whole schedule. However, certain board members, as a board, we decided that we would do the worst buildings first. Fortunately, your building is not the worst. We're not saying we're not going to get to it. Every building, the plan is to have every building done within the year. So please don't be offended that your building was pushed a few months back. It's, I, have, I have units in Interlochen, I have units in St. Moritz, and I have units in Zurich. So I'm benefiting in St. Okay. Moritz. I'm only trying to determine the methodology okay. of making the selection. I don't see it was any the methodology. Worst I like I like <laughs> what what our president originally said. It would be a straw Nobody vote. That okay. was okay. I'm just trying to. Yeah. Calm I don't everyone see down. I don't see anyone on this board that's an expert in which is the worst. I personally have gone through each of those buildings. And personally, I think the original architect of this place is better and has more insight and ability than anyone on this board. You're busy changing things around that was done by a sheer genius. You're not changing the outsides of the building. All of a sudden, we have people that are interior decorators on the board. To me, that doesn't make any sense. Putting two layers, one layer of tiles on top of another layer of tiles. Okay, we're going to take a roll. Just remember when you vote, you'll be held personally responsible for these decisions later. And this Chris, minutes of this meeting will be going to the bank. Michael, we'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. We will. Okay. Terry, you know nothing. Yeah, I know. That's all right. <laughs> Charles Fitzpatrick. Francis Mizero. Yeah, the motion has I again, the motion? I'll do it again. I make the motion to to approve the hallways of the San Moritz renovation not to exceed ten thousand dollars. Dan, Dan, do you second? I second. You know, you got to keep up with this. What is this? Ten thousand for the for for the three hallways. That's what we, we never did. Got an accounting for the last yes, we did. Yeah, and accounting, but it wasn't very accurate, as I told you, Terry. It wasn't accurate. No, no. no I've got every check from it. I'll be glad to show you how much. Nine hundred thirty dollars for paint. You okay. can put. You can Francis Mizero. No. Sorry. Uh, your vote. I don't know what the motion is. The motion again is to approve the renovation of the San Moritz hallways. Not to exceed ten thousand dollars, Francis Mizero. But didn't you just say it cost fifteen thousand? No, that's for the lobby. lobby. That was the lobby. That's already been approved. I have to vote now. No, it's fiscally okay. irresponsible. Michael Shankle. No. No. Okay. Dan Maybe Coco. Greater responsibility. Yes. Edwin yes. Kaufman. Yes. Doug Myers. Yes. Jennifer Maloney. Two Musketeers. Yes. <laughs> All the Doug time. Yeah, well, that's the hit. Yes. And Terry was taking a six to three. Good. You, you like it. You're already up to the